Well, the second Ashes test is all over. England have run out victors, and deservedly so. Australia did have a hope heading into the last day where they needed 209 with five wickets in hand, but they just couldn't get there. The match finishing just before lunch on the fifth and final day. And full credit to the home side, they played the better cricket in the match, and Andrew Flinoff was a very deserved man of the match. Tremendous performance, five wickets. He's probably got a very sore knee, but he's got a few days break now before the next test starting in Birmingham late next week. England supporters, they would be delighted after the effort in Cardiff. The Aussies really uh, looked all over them there. They fought back well in this test, getting over 400 in the first innings, put a lot of pressure on Australia. They bowled very well. They caught everything. Full credit to them. Australia, what do they do from here? Well, they've got some things to think about. Mitchell Johnson, not bowling well. Did bat well today for his 60-odd. But really, uh, he's going to have to get some wickets in the tour game on the weekend in uh, Northampton if he's to be considered for the third test match. But all in all, it's been a great time here at Lords. Just overlooking here the Grace Garden where we've spent a little bit of time over the last couple of days having lunch and catching up. And I must say, most of the England fans, very humble as I speak to you, what, two hours after they've won their first test match here at Lords since 1934, some 75 years ago. A great performance by England. And we'll have more from the UK in the coming weeks. Of course, the third test starting next weekend. And, uh, well, there's lots happening over here. Great uh, British Open golf. Tom Watson nearly getting there, but Stuart Sink was too good. And, uh, look, some great sport. Great time to be here in England. I hope you're enjoying it all back at home in Adelaide on C31 Sport.